After watching this tutorial series, you will be able to work with the ModMad more efficiently if you are a provider using ModMad or planning to use the ModMad. This video is for you. In our previous video, we discussed about the patient registration and patient scheduling and adding the insurance to the patient's account in ModMad. In this video, we will discuss about adding charges, procedure codes, diagnosis code, modifier and other things to the claim in ModMad. I have experience of 10 years in the billing industry and in the end of this video, I will share with you my professional tip or a secret that billers usually don't share with anyone. This tip will help your practice become more profitable and efficient. First, we will open the patient's account. First, we will search the patient. Now, in the patient's account, we have discussed about the patient's financial tab. Uh, this is the patient's financial tab. It will show you down here. Okay. Uh, first of all, there is a account balance, total balance on the patient's account. This is the balance from the patient, $97. There is zero balance from the insurance. Okay. So this is showing zero. If there is any patient's payment that is not allocated, it will show over here as unallocated. If there is an insurance payment that is still not posted, it will show over here. Okay. Your billing service can make you profitable. Outsource to us for only 3% of the collection. Call us today. These are the total charges of the patient's account. And this is the total payment. Okay. Uh, you will see here, this is a pair and billing summary. Primary pair here is showing as Blue Cross Blue Shield. And medical secondary policy is showing here Medicaid of Oregon. Now the important tab over here is Ledger. Let's open the Ledger. This is the ledger. In the ledger, you will see all the past bills and claims. All of them will show over here. Okay. If there is any balance, it will show in the insurance balance tab or patient's balance tab. Okay. If you want to check all the balances of the patient, if you want to check all the charges together, suppose if the patient has 50 charges, it will not show in one screen, right? If you want to check them all, you can go to the print summary. If you come to the summary, you will see the patient balance over here, insurance balance over here, and these are all the balances for all the data services and the procedure codes. Okay, this is very useful if the patient account is big and there are so many charges. Okay, now coming back to the patient ledger. Uh, now here we can also we have checked the print summary. Now we are checking the print details. If you want to check all the charges and their details like for example what were the description of the charges what was the bill number everything will show in the details section okay so this is how you can check the summary details of the patient account now coming back to the patient ledger again if we want to tell our billing staff that this patient policy is inactive or we want to let them know that when the next time patient comes to the clinic he has to update the information or, or anything we can just add the billing alert over here okay we can add so the billing alert will show on top of the patient's account the coverage is terminated it is useful for the other billers who are working on the same account or even when you are coming back to your account you will remember okay this policy was terminated so we need to ask for a new policy from the members these are the billing alerts now let us create a bill okay click create a bill now the bill type we can select is is it a patient bill is it a claims bill is it a auto pip bill is it a worker comp bill we can select it over here i'm billing this to the insurance so i will click here claims bill okay now the patient is already selected because we have selected create a bill option from the patient's account so the patient accounts account is already picked over here now we can select our service location now we can select our primary biller we can select our date of service then we can select our primary care provider over here then we can select the fee schedule of the provider then we can select the reference provider and we can select the reportable reason medical non-emergency medical emergency auto accident pip cosmetic service worker comp i'm choosing here medical non-emergency one thing to note here the red asterisk sign 
is important fields we have to fill that just to create the claim otherwise it will not create the bill okay for example diagnosis we have to have one diagnosis to create the claim for example i pick e21 to create the bill okay after clicking create the bill before moving further with our tutorial let's talk about the coding history the official coding of disease began in the 17th century in england known as london bills of mortality certain data of disease and ailment were collected and arranged into numerical codes and the numerical codes were used to measure most frequent cause of death the problem was bills were not consistent with their terminology as the medical industry grew through the years the world health organization began using the list of mortality rate tracking the list was expanded further and renamed as international classification of disease icd in 1977 icd codes were then further developed to include clinical diagnosis such as illness and injuries not just cause of death let's continue with the tutorial after clicking create the bill uh, it will take you to the bill that was uh, created here this bill is empty right now it doesn't have much information we have to provide more information you will see here first of all on top of it you will see the patient's name date of birth of the patient mrn number of the patient and the patient's phone number this phone number is mine you can outsource the billing to me just call me on this number okay below you will see this is the bill number and this is the posting date of the bill that is today's date it will automatically pick over here now this page has five sections first section is billing information section second section is service render section uh, third section is patient financial section fourth is diagnosis section then there is additional information section okay the first section is bill information in this we have to provide the primary providers information primary bill billers information service location we can select over here clear number in case if you are doing this for the laboratory you need a clear number for that procedure you can put it over here the clear number okay now if you want to add other id for the provider right you can select here that is state license number provider commercial number location number you can select and then you can write it over here okay now place of service can be selected over here it has all the places of service that you will be needing for example if you uh, pick your tally health provider services so you can pick it over here most of the time we are doing the service in office so we are selecting your office you can add the referring physician's name you can search some provider here by the name or the npi okay so you can add the referring physician over here if you want to add ordering or supervising provider you can add those as well and the same way you can search them by the name and the npi okay patient financials will take you to the patient's financial page i'm not clicking it it will just a uh, link to go to the patient's financial okay now on top of it you will see the current responsibility for example this member has the primary insurance as bcbs so it is showing over here if there is no insurance it will show here a uh, patient's responsibility but for example if the primary insurance has paid and there is a secondary insurance the current responsibility will be the secondary insurance if there is no secondary it will show here the patient's responsibility okay this is the current responsibility tab important now the second tab here is reportable reason here you can select the reason why the patient is visiting okay and then the fee schedule if the patient was hospitalized you can pick the from date and to date over here this is a add referral source you can add from where the patient is coming we discussed this to know more about this adding referral source please see my video registering patient and scheduling patient now this is a bill history which is very important in the bill history you will see what is happening to the bill okay the chronology of the bill you will see over here 
for example if you go to the details it will show you on this day this time this user created the bill okay if the claim was rejected it will show here rejected if the claim was accepted it will show over here the claim was accepted so all the information about the bill will be shown over here okay now this is appointment history many of the physicians are trying to find a good billing agency or maybe struggling with aging claims or want to lower the billing cost if you know someone with these needs please help your friend by mentioning about us and our pricing a friend in need is a friend indeed now this is appointment history a link if you click here it will take you to the appointment history of the patient here you will find the upcoming appointments and the past appointments of the member okay now this is the follow up date if for example you want this claim to be followed after five days you can pick the date over here and the software will tell you okay this claims need to be followed up so this is a follow-up date that we personally schedule for upcoming follow-up okay assign to and build status this we will discuss later if you want to add any note into the patient's account you can add it over here okay you can add okay so this claim is denied for medical necessity you can add the attachment over here maybe you want to attach a eob maybe you want to attach a appeals letter you can drop that attachment over here and then click save now this is created over here now this note is created over here one thing i want to tell you that you cannot delete any notes in the software okay in the end of this video i will tell you how to do correction on the notes if you mistakenly created a incorrect note okay now coming back to the main section now the second section over here is adding the procedure code how do we add the procedure code we just type the procedure over here for example i add 99211 and then click 99211 the procedure will be added here okay so here we can add the modifier to the procedure any modifier you can add over here keep in mind you need to know which modifier to be used as a primary because sometimes we have to use more than one modifier if you're using two three or four modifiers you should know which modifier is primary okay so that is a uh, work for the coding team which i will not suggest over here but if you want to you can add the modifiers so there are four up to four modifiers you can add over here okay okay then you can add the diagnosis pointer over here for example this was a diagnosis we have added okay so that is at the a position over here so we can select the primary diagnosis this is a primary diagnosis this is secondary diagnosis this is third diagnosis this is fourth okay so these are the diagnosis over here now this is showing here a unit charge over here which we already have set into this account for 182.71 for 99211 for different CPD code there will be different charge amount that it will automatically selected which you have already set in the preference of the software of the modmad okay now this is unit how many units of this procedure code was done you can change it over here if you want to okay so now this is the total charges okay this is total charges now we can add another service line over here by clicking add a service line now the other service line we can pick it over here for example if i want to add g0008 i can add it over here okay also i can add the modifier whatever i want okay then the diagnosis code i can pick okay so this is a zero dollar cbt so this is showing a zero okay now we can add a qualifier to the service for example i can add a narrative description of the unspecified code or i can add the national drug code over here okay if you pick national drug code you have to put the national drug code of the vaccine over here okay then you can put the description of that drug code and then you can pick your units okay and then the quantity also you can change the units over here it is milligram unit gram milliliter according to your drug usage you can pick that unit over here okay then pick the quantity okay now this is how you add the national drug code okay now to check the claims error of course we have done all this procedure code and we have added all those things if you want to check the error you can click here claims note just so it is saying the ndc code is empty this field is required okay 
so we can just remove that field from here okay and now when adding a procedure code diagnosis code and modifier we need to keep in mind to do the accurate billing don't use uploading to get more money as we should avoid fraud waste and abuse when doing coding it may get you a little more money but if you get caught in the audit your future payments from the insurance will get that much difficulty for more information on fraud waste abuse please watch my video in my youtube channel and now if we click this it will show you a claims note this is the box 19 okay you can put the box 19 information for example if this is a corrected claim and you have to mark it as a corrected claim you can just put here the word corrected claim and then click save now a flag will be showing here okay this flag means that the note in box 19 is added just as an indicator okay so now we have added the procedure code and modifier successfully to this account now it's time to reveal my professional secret i told you that the notes cannot be deleted right what you can do you can just add a note here again just adding the new notes or the updated notes with notes saying this is a correction correction to previous notes then add your corrected notes over here now you can save this okay if you cannot delete it you can just mark the account by saying the notes are now corrected okay so this is how you do correction to the notes if, even if you cannot delete the notes in any software okay next how to add the diagnosis code okay now see here if you click here uh, this is the diagnosis section if you click on manage diagnosis it will take you to the current diagnosis that is added to this account you can add a new diagnosis from here just clicking the add and then d21 or whatever you want to select okay this is what we have added over here then we click save okay now we have added a new diagnosis over here but the diagnosis is not selected in the procedure code to get that diagnosis selected into the procedure code you will click here and click that diagnosis d21 is added so we can add that over here right so this is how you add a diagnosis now we want to switch that diagnosis places up and down for example d22 is here on the secondary level we want it to be above what we can do here we can click this arrow and it will interchange okay now this is d21 is coming top now let's just save this one whenever we are changing the diagnosis the pointer automatically change over here okay if you want to bring back the pointer over here we can say okay primary is d21 and secondary is b21 this is how you add the diagnosis this is how you swap the diagnosis this is how you set the primary and secondary diagnosis on any procedure okay in our next video we will discuss about how to do claims filing corrected claim and attaching medical records to the patient's account for advanced features on modmed and what we do that really work in modmed you can outsource your billing to us and make your practice more profitable while using modmed i have three awesome services that will help you in claims billing and follow up first service is to outsource your billing for only three percent of the collection second service is we will follow up on your denied aging claims for only 60 cents per claim and you don't need to outsource your billing third service is per hour basis you can hire our employee for only four dollar per hour for the minimum of two hours a day it means for eight dollar a day my ar and billing team is yours and the best part of the service is no contracts required no obligation if you are satisfied then only pay no hidden cost whatsoever we do overnight claim submission means you are doing the service today and the claim will go out in the same night if you feel my content is relevant to you please subscribe to my youtube channel and to get the updates on billing please hit the bell icon so you can get the updates also share this video to one of your friend who can use the billing updates thanks thanks for watching i will see you